Hello, I had to come on here because even though I'm not actually in Spain yet and I'm still in Heidelberg, this is the final week of Heidelberg exam week and the first week of online classes for Spain. I've just finished my second ever French, this is a bit confusing, French online course for Spain. And it was obviously quite confusing because it was all about French, but in Spanish. And then every now and then she'd ask me questions about English. So it was a huge mixture of languages, but I'm feeling so good about it. So first of all, here is your reminder that if you're ever stressed, like I was being the only English among many Spanish natives, you just gotta go for it and you'll be so proud of yourselves at the end of it. I've learned so much in the last two classes and I'm really gonna try and push myself this semester to just go for it instead of get the easy way out, which I definitely did when I was in Heidelberg. I have to push myself through the first few challenging weeks so that I can get better. So even though it's gonna be stressful and tricky, just gotta do it. And here's your booster if you're stressed about going abroad and all things like that. I'm gonna keep you updated on how it goes and we'll be fine. I may not be in Spain yet, but I very nearly am. Look at my room right now, it's an absolute tip. I'm currently trying to move all of my things out of my room so that I can have the last few days at a friend's house because I oh, it's complicated with the contract, so I have to give my key in on Friday. I've got my final exam tomorrow, which is Spanish for Germany and then I'm done. I just have to pack, say goodbye to friends. I also have to get a COVID test on Friday so I can come to Spain. I also picked up my Spanish visa from Stuttgart yesterday. So it's all gradually coming together. I'm so excited. This is the final day that I'm gonna be in my flat. Miguel is currently writing the person that's next gonna live in here a message just because I have so many things. Like I have curtains that I bought just for here that I can't take anyone with me. So Miguel, thankfully, bless him, is gonna keep them. I'm not allowed to leave anything in here. So if she wants to have them, then she can contact me and she'll get them. I have cleaned out the whole kitchen. This is just a few things that I've left for the next person if they need them because it's basically new. Wine glasses, which I uh, wish I could take with me to Spain, but they're just gonna smash. It's all clean, it's all empty, apart from my other roommate's things. So all that's left to do is go to Miguel's. So we're not quite in Granada yet, but we're getting there. We have a lot of bags to take down all the stairs, which I'm not looking forward to. Now look at my room, completely empty. This feels so weird, especially with the rug not being there. But there we go. <laughs> Miguel's been helping me, bless him. This has been a, been a struggle for sure, but we've finally done it. Oh my God, it feels so weird. I've left a note for the next person in case they wanna get any things from me. That's in German. Hello, it's Editing Emma at your service. I had to come on here and add to this vlog and tell you guys a bit more about deliveries and moving out with actual packages and things because it can be very complicated. Number one bit of advice, which I wish I had done when I moved to Heidelberg, is not bring so much crap. I sent so much, it was very expensive. I sent my duvets, I sent plates and cutlery that I had from uni. It's so unnecessary. You can literally, the second you get there, go to like Euro stores and buy the cheapest things and then you don't even have to worry about sending them back home. Especially with Brexit, because now things are a little bit more expensive to send. So I would highly recommend trying your hardest to just go with one or two suitcases and not bringing every single thing under the sun, like towels and duvets, and just buy it when you get there. Here we have it. Goodbye room that I spent five months in. I don't need to lift it or to just let it, let it bounce and let it bounce. Okay. It echoes so much. This is like nearly 30 kilograms of suitcase. taking that down the suitcase it was like <laughs> making me rock we called the taxi because we have all of this crap that pole isn't even mine it was in the freaking bed Ooh. <laughs> okay. right let's put this crap in the bin this is where the housemaster normally is but because of covid he's not there i love how the second i leave they've actually opened this room yeah. do you remember when i told you that they were completely yeah. shut they've got ping pong and table football this is 
the laundry room for a huge load of buildings. There's only four washing machines and three dryers. And this is what you do to get your laundry done. You put the card in and it takes money, your student card. But also this is a section for when people leave, they leave things for other people to take. I've put a few things here like um, jugs and mugs and this because I don't need this anymore. And I'm also going to add my little cute welcome mat that I bought because someone else might like that. I didn't realise there's a thing in Germany is every single person along the hall has a mat. Good morning everyone. It is 11 in the morning and it is Friday. I leave Spain on Monday, which is crazy. I'm currently walking to the tram to meet Imogen and we're both gonna go to Mannheim to get our COVID tests. So as long as they're negative, I'm good to go. Dude, I'm really hoping it's not the one where they put it all the way up your nose so it touches your brain. We will see. We're just currently queuing, but we're on foot <laughs> for the COVID test. <laughs> it's literally a two minute meeting. So we're gonna be in and out like the wind. And I'm going to be off home, which would be great because we need a week. Yeah. That was oh the <laughs> wow. I was thinking that it was going to go right up my nose and that's why I didn't open my mouth because I thought she was going to do a nose. She went, no, mouth. Oh, easy. That easy, was the easy, quickest thing easy. easy. Are you happy? Yes, I'm good. I'm stressed. I'm in such a good mood now. Woo! <laughs> the results literally come through in a day we get the results tomorrow That's and then right. we'll know if we can actually go to spain okay we did it once and i'm a bad gagger right and I'm a little bit nervous emma did it once really quickly and then emma was trying to take a photo of me after her and she, she was the one it. that went take a photo and then she just went for it without realizing that i wasn't ready and i went oh, oh i've not done it and um, she went again you made me fucking gag <laughs> Uh, at me for <laughs> I thought because it says PCR, like it sounds like it's going to be more complicated or something. Yeah, so we've travelled to Mannheim and now we're going to travel all the way back for a two minute thing. Yeah. That was the simplest thing ever. <laughs> Goodbye! We love you! <laughs> oh, that is an oh, 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 sorry! <laughs> we're going to Spain. Oh, we made it. Oh, my I can't God. See Oh my god, it's gonna let me in. Quick! <laughs> Imogen's gonna see if hers fits on the <laughs> on the side. I've been told that mine is way too big. So I have to go all the way down to number 50 in order to get my bag through. <laughs> Hello, I'm currently waiting in another queue. I've just checked in everything apart from my bag was too heavy. And normally when it's over 23 kilograms, I can just pay extra right there. This time they've sent me to a whole other place on the other side of the airport to pay. So once I've paid for my suitcase, then Imogen and I can go through security, go through our passport control, and then we'll be on the plane. This is a long queue though. Things are coming in. I have a blender, a hairdryer, and straighteners, and a speaker. <laughs> oh, and in my bag. So I got stopped and checked very much. Oh, we've got ages to go. Smashed it. They've checked that we were a student, but they've not once asked for a visa. If we didn't need that, I'll be fuming. <laughs> for convenient, I'm gonna have a spray of the perfume. Yeah, I stink. I don't know whether to choose a new one or to find my one. Choose a new one, go on. I did it my way. I wonder if it smells nice. 100 pound, are you joking? Let's spray it. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, I love that one. Mm. That's nice, isn't it? Fresh. Yeah. Oh, that's my feeling. Yes. Uh, oh, I've got the lid still. <laughs> Imogen, what are they? These are fortune cookies. A bit crushed up. A bit crushed up. They're the two last ones that I had and thought we'd save them for our journey before Spain and see what they say. See what I'm ready. Okay. Oh, oh. oh no. apparently that one's mine now. Okay. <laughs> Show who you are and do your best. That's really nice. <laughs> you will do your best. You're going to be great. Oh, crush up. You must love what you do to keep on doing it with love. <laughs> there was a fire in the rug. <laughs> right now. It's 
still really, really sunny here in Germany, so it must be even sunnier in Spain. Emerson's probably already sitting in a seat, so I'm gonna go meet her. Crazily, even though we booked completely separately, our seats are next to each other. What are the odds of that? Oh, great. Maybe when we leave? No, because it's Turn already your on. Hole. <laughs> <laughs> Change it when the plane starts. So we're going to have been travelling from half seven till like half eight ish. That's a lot of travelling in one day, but it's all going to be worth it. Getting a quick tan before we leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a roller coaster. I love this. <laughs> to record everything of my first reactions of the house but my storage was completely gone too many photos and videos so what i've done is this morning i've deleted loads and loads and loads so now i'll be able to film <laughs> 